A woman was attacked and killed outside the Kapule police station last night. The suspect, arrested Monday for a separate assault, is now back in custody, this time accused of murder. Jen Boniza has more. It happened here, literally steps from the Kapole police station doors. And in the 24 hours prior to the murder, the suspect had already been accused of assaulting two other people, one of them a police officer. HPD responded to a report of a male standing over a female on the property grounds around 7.30 p.m. Tuesday. A 48-year-old woman was found unresponsive with severe injuries in front of the Kapole police station. She appeared to be beaten and was taken to a hospital where she died. It was a violent attack. A tree trunk near the woman's body was covered in blood. Sources say the suspect used it to beat her. Gaffey knew to Rialti was across the street sitting in the park when it happened. I saw a fire truck come by and it stopped right in front of the police station. And then like another ambulance and then another ambulance and two more cop cars sat there. And there's some big commotion that sat there for about like 40 minutes or so. He says he didn't know what happened, but said it was odd seeing so many emergency vehicles and cop cars with their lights on right in front of the police station. The woman was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. 35-year-old Michael Kalama Armstrong was arrested for murder, but has not yet been charged. Armstrong had also been arrested Monday night in a separate incident. He was being held at the police station so we could conduct our investigation. Uh, Charges were not filed, so we released him pending investigation. Very shortly after release, he committed this crime. According to police, Armstrong has a prior felony conviction for possession of a prohibited weapon. His record also shows he was acquitted by reason of insanity for three other felonies in 2009. At this time, there are no indications that the victim and suspect knew each other, and we are currently gathering surveillance video and body worn camera video. Armstrong is currently in police custody. Jen Boniza Cage went to news working for Hawaii.